What's going on everyone? Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, I want to issue a correction to the previous episode that I did on stimulus reflex morph modes with view components. So when I recorded this yesterday, I knew that I needed this DOM ID method and I did not realize that the reflex already has that. So I included application helper here and we simply don't need to do that. And I want to show you why. So if we go back over to my browser, I have GitHub open. And we can look here at the class. So uh, again, I'm going to kind of go back to the top and drill down in case you haven't looked at gems much before. Um, so we're just at the top level of stimulus reflex. We can go into the lib. And then we jump into stimulus reflex here. And then we can look at this reflex class. And so we can see here we have class, stimulus, reflex, reflex, and in here we're including cable ready broadcaster. So let's go look over, I'm not going to go through the whole tree again this time, but you can uh, do the same over on cable ready. And cable ready actually has a DOM ID method. And basically what this is doing is it's using this record identifier DOM ID, which is what you get in application helper, and it's sticking a pound sign in the front. So um, that's essentially turning that DOM ID into a CSS selector. So let's go back over to the code really quick. So the reason I knew to look in the reflex class in stimulus reflex is because we have application reflex, which we're inheriting from, and it's simply inheriting from stimulus reflex reflex. So uh, if you are familiar with Rails and gem building and all this kind of stuff, that's all really basic. But otherwise, hopefully that kind of helps you get some footing and know why we did what we did there. So I'm going to try this as is. Um, go back over here. Let me open up a new server or terminal window rather. Let me zoom in. And I'll need to change down into my projects here. I normally start with all this open. Uh, TechMaker... And I think this is the simple project manager. And then we'll just kick up a server here. And let's see, that's taking a second. Okay, let's jump back over to the browser. I should have to log in again. So if anybody's curious about why Dexter always pops up, it's because one of the first Rails apps I ever built was for medical labs. And my test lab was always Dexter's Laboratory because I thought that was funny. Um, okay, so let's give this a shot. Um, let's just change it up so everything is still working. So obviously um, this is exactly what you're supposed to do and that's why they actually wrote the DOM ID method. Uh, because they intended for us to do it this way. Before I jump off, there's actually one other little refactoring that we can do here um, if you're interested. So I'm not a big fan of having the controller explicitly de declared here personally. Um, so what we could do is actually grab this and at the top of our class, we can say delegate um, render to application controller application controller and basically what that's going to do is whenever render is called it's going to pass that message along to the application controller so the behavior should be exactly what we had before but we can actually go a little further than this if we want to and stick this in our application reflex um, so now if we want to render a component, we can do it like this. I will tell you that I think, so there's an active discussion going on on the Stimulus Reflex Discord. And if you want to get in on that, be sure to check that out. There's a link on the Stimulus Reflex docs page. In any case, this may not be the best way to do this in the long run, but I do like that it shortens up the code here for the moment and uh, reduces a little bit of duplication if you're using multiple components. Um, that being said, I suspect that we'll end up with an official or at least a standard practice for this pretty soon. Um, it may look a little bit like this. It may be a little bit different. I think there may be a specific way to do it with view components, which may actually be even nicer. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. So it's kind of a minor thing, but it's pretty cool. 
Um, all of that said, I uh, think that's it for this episode. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you got any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. I am getting back to just about everybody who asked something. Uh, I will say that somebody wrote a very long post about what you should do with your stimulus checks when you're in America, or if you're in America, and uh, that's not this kind of stimulus, so just to be clear, don't leave me any comments asking what to do with your stimulus check or telling other people what to do with theirs. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll talk to you in the next episode.